For our last part, after we've used liquify and masking to make our texture fit inside of our UV outline, there still may be some parts that are empty, like the circles here or the edges of the shirt here. To help fill those in, we can use the clone stamp tool. First, let's make a new layer. This is going to have all of our cloning on this layer. Next, let's go to our clone stamp tool. It's going to look like a little stamp. On the clone stamp tool, make sure the sample is set to all layers. This means it'll take from whatever you're looking at instead of only the layer you're using. So all layers, the clone stamp tool will let us copy and paste using our image as a brush. So to do so, hold down Alt and click on a part you want to copy from. So I clicked on the flower here while holding down Alt. And if I paint somewhere else, it'll start from that flower and follow my mouse as I move around. You can see the plus sign on the top left showing me where I'm copying from. Using this, I can Alt click on the bottom of the sweater and paint in some of the missing parts. I may need to alt click multiple times to get in the full picture. This can help me fill in any missing spaces I might have, make sure everything is all completed. I recommend sampling from a lot of different places just to kind of cover up the fact that it's copied. Now for the big circle here, I'm going to alt click on the black area and use this part of the texture to fill it in. It's okay if you go over the lines. Anything over the edges of the lines won't show up on your 3D model anyways.